Okay, so for prawns curry, I'll be using these big prawns. Ideally, we prefer using the smaller one, the smaller shrimps, but the smaller shrimps are not available. Prefer using or consider using the smaller shrimps. That will taste good. So first, I will clean the prawns. Okay, so if you just cut this big prawn like this, okay, there's a black thread that you can see. Can you see this? Okay, I'll just get rid of this. Some might say it's not a problem uh, if you don't remove it. It's okay if it suits you, then well and good. But if it doesn't suit you, then I would advise you to get rid of those. All right. So as you can see, I've washed the prawns well. Okay. Now I'll just marinate it with half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of turmeric powder. That's it. Mix it well, okay, and I'll keep it aside. Okay, so to prepare the masala, okay, I'll take one medium-sized onion, two garlic cloves, one medium-sized tomato, a little fresh grated coconut. And I'll be using this uh, homemade fish masala, which one of my auntie has prepared. This is uh, you will find it in most of the Catholic East Indian houses. It's known as a bottle masala. So this is what I'll be using. So this has everything in it. It has the it has coriander, it has uh, jeera, it has uh, chili powder. Everything is uh, available in this masala. So I mostly in my fish curries I use this fish masala. And just to give that extra <clears throat> red color to my curry, I will add this red Kashmiri chili powder, which is not at all spicy. So just for the color, can you see the color difference? Just for that color, I will add this, and I'll add a teaspoon of salt. and we'll grind this into a thick paste all right so that's done okay now we will start with the cooking process so in a pot i've heated around 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil and i'll add in few fresh curry leaves i'll let it crackle once it's done crackling i'll add in the ground masala and i will fry this masala until it's cooked well and the oil oozes out from the masala. I'll fry this masala on low flame and if the masala is getting dried up, I'll add in water. So I'll use the same mixer in which the masala was ground. I'll add in some water and I will add water to the masala little by little and I'll let it fry for around three to four minutes. Once I'm done frying, I'll add in a potato. I've taken a medium sized potato, which I've cut into cubes and I'll just fry them well. And post that, I'll be adding the marinated prawns in it. And I'll fry this for another one to two minutes by adding little water. We'll let this cook well on a closed lid. It's been cooking for around one to two minutes. Now I'll be adding the drumsticks. And once the drumstick is cooked well, I'll be adding the lady finger, that's bindi. So I've cut the uh, bindi well from inside so that there's no worm left inside and I will let this cook on low flame for around 3 to 4 minutes till the bindi is cooked. Once the bindi is slightly cooked, I'll be adding in the raw mangoes. So I've sliced one small size raw mangoes to just give a little sourness to the gravy. You can also add in tamarind or you can add in uh, kokum. 
so we'll just give it a boil for around one to two minutes and that's it our prawns curry with vegetable is ready please let me know how you like the video and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel